Hello, trading is closed on April 17th, 2019. We'll go over our calls. Look at the long-term picture. It looks like nothing's happening here, but I think this might be very significant. We said we should have a gap outside the day's range is the most common occurrence, and that's what happened. Look for the pattern with the early low and the late high, and that's what we got. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low. doesn't mean you won't gap up first. The optional target was hit. It's a new target for tomorrow. I'm concerned it might not print. BJT said this rally and this drop and this drop are all false moves. These have already retraced. This one hasn't gone up to its target. I'm not certain it will. There are a number of things that I'm uncomfortable about with today's action. We have the volatility index going over its going under its lower Bollinger Band and then reversing. By itself, it isn't very impressive, but it's supposed to be a signal of the top. Nothing's ever come of this signal as of the top. We have the NASDAQ McClellan oscillator hit its upper Bollinger Band and then reversed. But uh, even though nothing's come of it, it hasn't been invalidated either. Also, nothing's much come of the DeMarc cell signals, 9.13.9 combo and um, sequential. When these things fail, they're supposed to fail in grand style. They're not supposed to stall at resistance like this. But uh, we'll just say this is a lie, but unimpressive so far, but the signal remains. Because we have conflicting signals here, the most likely thing is we gap outside the range tomorrow, or at least gap and trade outside of it quickly. It's really um, negative when this pattern doesn't close near the high, or at least trade over there promptly tomorrow. But it's positive that after dropping all day, we couldn't take out these lows on the close. And uh, we have a higher target. Conflicting signals, commonest thing is we gap outside the range. If we gap over this high, sweetness and light, the rally can continue. But if we gap under the low, which hasn't happened yet, this should be real trouble. Now, we all know a rising wedge is negative formation. This also could be an ending diagonal triangle. Gapping under the low would break under a very significant trend line and unless reversed promptly would indicate a return to this low according to the rules. Now at last September's high, which I called within a day, I was pretty convinced that was it. I had Fibonacci stuff, I had trend line stuff, all timing stuff, everything calling for a high here. I have to admit this rally is far stronger than I thought it would be. And it led me to call the call into question. This was the count that I had. Well, it didn't break any rules. It still hasn't been invalidated yet. But this wave four doesn't look particularly pretty, even though it breaks no rules. And when you have a strong impulse like this, wave five usually truncates. Doesn't mean it's the wrong count, but it wasn't my preferred count. I thought this was a more likely count, which implies much more rally to, 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 to come. But in addition to the unrewarded sell signals, I mentioned earlier, a number of sentiment indicators seen typically at major tops are present. They typically means everyone's positive and bears, even me, kind of threw in the towel. This is a valid count. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not the only count. This is a possible count. It's possible three ended here, and this is your ABC. If that's the count, this last wave up that I couldn't explain nor count could be wave five and end the whole pattern. Wave five is 38.2%. of waves one through three. And 
this wave four looks a lot more like the looks a lot more like a wave four than the one I showed earlier. And you can see how A and C have a beautiful Fibonacci relationship. Here's your simple correction. Here's your expanded flat for the subwaves, different in character here. So we're at resistance. We're also from this line. We're at support, as I showed earlier. It's a question of who wins. The fact that we've gapped up four days straight and haven't made any progress is not good. The fact that this thing didn't close near its high is not good. If we take this out, which hasn't happened yet, which might not happen, but if we do, the indicators I've pointed out augur for a long way down. And that's today's call.